Scary scene at Daytona International Speedway early Monday morning. The Coke Zero 400 got underway just before midnight Eastern time on Sunday. The start of the race was delayed because of torrential downpours in Florida. Dale Earnhardt Jr. took home the win, but it was largely overshadowed by the terrifying crash that sent Austin Dillon's number three car hurtling into the catch fence. As a pack of drivers approached the finish line on the final lap, Dillon's car went flying and landed upside down after crashing into the fence, producing a burst of flames. Crew members from many teams ran out to check on Dillon, giving the thumbs up when they saw that miraculously he was okay. Dillon walked away from the wreckage and waved to the crowd. He was examined at the infield care center and suffered a bruised tailbone and forearm. Earnhardt Jr. was immediately concerned about the crash after crossing the finish line. He later told reporters, quote, you're just on the verge of tears. I saw everything in the mirror pretty clearly. I just was very scared for whoever that car was. I didn't care about anything except figuring out who was okay. He added, quote, the racing doesn't matter anymore. Jimmy Johnson, who finished second in the race, said the crash was one of the worst he's ever seen. He said, quote, I'm shocked that Austin Dillon is even alive. I expected the worst when I came back around.